So I was looking for, hey guys, so I was looking for a good place to um, finish uh, the story. Second part of the story of uh, how I got Color the Cross uh, made and some of the craziness that happened. And so I decided I was going to, this would be a good fitting place. So I'm far off in the back of my uh, property, way out. And um, my... Uh, neighbor has a banana plantation that adjoins right next to my property so i asked him if i could come into the banana field the plantation this is uh yeah guys on the island where slaves used to uh uh make the europeans very wealthy with uh uh sugar cane and plantains well this is the plantain uh uh plantation uh, this is actually a plantain plantation, as you can see here, right? Got them all covered up so he can, he sells them actually. Um, so here I am and I, let me just lean here. Uh, so Suge Knight, we finished that whole, uh, you know, exchange between us and we parted ways. Um, he was actually, a, you know, a gentleman about it and understood that, you know, it, it it was against my interest to 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 go that route. So um, during this time, I was also I decided in order to raise the money, I was going to do a little mini tour around the country to try to find investors and um, and uh, so I went on a little speaking tour, uh, and you know we would be paid uh, you know a couple of thousand dollars for these speaking tours you know, in South Carolina and upstate New York, etc. And I brought along with me uh, a fellow actor, um, writer, uh, Gabriel Cassius. Very, very cool guy. I've known him now, Gabe and I, for years and years, you know, struggling in the business and grinding it out. And um, we became road dogs. You know, we were traveling all across the country doing these, uh, these mini tours, speaking tours speaking to colleges and independent uh, producers and, and uh, independent act, uh, uh, writers and di directors. And um, we became very tight, really good friends. And uh, he actually, uh, the reason I chose him was because he was attached uh, to play Jesus in the film. So if I was going to be talking about the film on this tour... Um, he was the appropriate, I thought, the perfect person to co-host a lot of these uh, lectures with me and these uh, appearances. So anyway, we travel. We got in our car. Uh, we would uh, travel all through the East Coast, uh, down through uh, heading south on the 95, heading towards uh, uh, Virginia, uh, Maryland area, the Baltimore area, went further down. We went as far, I think, as uh, uh, Georgia believe it or not, because we cut back through the uh, center of the country. And I can tell you that we uh, shared a lot of really interesting stories and, and some great times. Um, we finally, several months after the tour was over, uh, we decide to head back to L.A. And uh, we get back to Los Angeles and I have a meeting with Fox um, to meet with the president of um, Fox um, Films. And when I get back to L.A., I um, go in and I give the pitch and they ask me who's going to star in the film. I said, oh, it's notable actor. His name is Gabriel Cassius. Really uh, uh, great. They said, well, let, let's look him up. And they look him up and they run their analytics. And they said, well, the, the idea of a black Jesus after the success of Mel Gibson's film seemed like a uh, uh, a good one. Seems like if you could get a quarter of Mel Gibson's business, an eighth of Mel Gibson's business, we'd be doing okay, especially at a $2 million investment. So um, they decided uh, to Google who Gabriel Cassius was and they knew who he was immediately. They, they were like, yes, we know him. Very familiar face, familiar actor. Um, he's been in a lot of movies, started off with New Jersey Drive and then had a meteoric rise 
started doing, you know, he was in some really, really great films and, and, um, lockdown and, uh, uh, the movie with Brendan Fraser, I forget what that one was called. Um, but he's been in a lot of movies, uh, Buffalo Soldiers, etc. And so, um, so I lock up the deal, $2 million, Fox Searchlight decided they were going to make this movie. And, uh, I was I, I did backflips literally because it had been a long grind, you know, and Gabe was with me every step of the way, and um, so my first stop obviously uh, is um, I set up dinner later that night to surprise Gabriel. You know, I wanted to let him know we are getting our movie made, and Fox has made a commitment to make the movie. And I call him up. We set up uh, lunch at one of my favorite vegan places. Uh, I was vegan at the time. Now, uh, 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 I eat fish now, so I'm a, a, a pescatarian. Um, but, um, so we set up this meeting and we're eating. I said, I got some news for you. So we're getting our movie made. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, yeah, color the cross. You remember? We went on this, you know, two month tour and finally got back and we're getting this movie made. And he said, oh, wow. Are you kidding me? I said, no, we're getting, I, I met with them earlier today. We're getting the movie made. And he said, okay, well, uh, what's the first step? I said, well, the movie, believe it or not, is contingent, uh, or the deal is contingent on you playing Jesus. And I told him that you're my guy. You're the guy who's going to play it. I'm not going to cast any other actor. And, um, and he said, oh, wow. Okay, let's, let's get it done. I said, well, well, so let's do our deal, our contract, because I have to bring them something back beside just my word. Um, so let's do our deal. And um, I'll send the contract over to you tomorrow. And let's go ahead and do it. And uh, he said, okay, all right, cool. And uh, so he leaves. I call him up later and I say, hey, do me a favor. Um, send me your email. So he sends me his email. And, he, and, and before he gets off the phone, he says, oh, oh, also um, send it to my agent too. I thought it was a little, okay, no problem. You know, sometimes actors want to go through the protocol, you know what I mean? Let their agent know, hey, I'm out here working, continue supporting me. You see people are booking me for shit. You know, it's a kind of a, a tit for tat. And okay, great. And the agent gets excited and tries to motivate and get more work. It's a game that actors play. All right, fine. Um, so I said, all right, no problem. Um, I sent it to his agent. And um, day one goes by. I don't hear from the agent. Day two goes by, I don't hear from the agent or Gabe. Day three, I don't hear from the agent or Gabe. Now, mind you, I've got a deal pending, $2 million to make the movie. So finally, I said, uh, I said, Gabe, um, your agent's not, I sent it to your agent. I, I haven't gotten, a, I got to get this back to Fox. And he said, oh, I'll call my agent now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'll call him. So he calls the agents, he calls me back. He says, yeah, yeah, he's waiting for your call. So I call the agent. And the secretary told me he's out for lunch. He's not available. I said, oh, oh, okay. Uh, can you tell him Jean-Claude Lamar called? And to, you know, I'm trying to get this deal done. And um, the agent calls me back. Literally, it was on a Friday. He literally calls me at like 5, 6 p.m. Now, everyone knows that's a dead hour. If you ever get a call from uh, regarding a deal at 5 or 6 p.m., they're not really interested. And um, so... Uh, he calls me up and he tells me, Hey, how you doing? I say, Hey, yeah. So my good friend, my, my dog, uh, told me to just send you some shit, you know, to get the deal done. It's just protocol. Uh, so can you just, you know, get it, look it over, sign it, send it back to me so we can get this movie made. He goes, Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah, my client's not interested. Did I tell you I was in a banana field, banana plantain? Yeah. That's what he said. He said, my client's not interested. I said, no, Gabriel Cassius. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe Cass, my, my good friend. Yeah, yeah, Gabriel. Yeah, we just don't, you know, I spoke to Gabriel about the project and, you know, we just don't think it's, at this particular point in his career, it's really the right move for him. Um, but, but thank you. Thank you. So I went back to um, Fox. I didn't tell them that Gabriel Cassius is not playing it. I signed a deal. I sent him a photo of the guy that's doing it, going to be doing the movie, and said, hey, here's Gabriel Cassius. The photo I sent him was of me. Yeah, I played the role. They didn't know the difference, and they really didn't care. All right, y'all. Stay safe. Stay humble. Be good.